not since 1994 have the Cleveland Browns been and won a playoff game. I was two years old. Two years old the last time the Browns went to the playoffs. I almost said Super Bowl. But as you can see, next week we either face Jacksonville or Denver, depending on who wins the game. Right now we are playing the Cleveland Browns versus the Tennessee Titans in Nashville. So this should be a challenge. No pressure. Once again, haven't won since 94. In one corner, you have the offensive coordinator giving Mariota and Castle the plays. And in the other corner, you have me trying to pump up the crew, as you could say. Because I, I just this is just surreal that we're in the playoffs. The Titans, on the other hand, have not been in the playoffs since they won the Super Bowl in 1999. So here's the first play of the game. Just coming out very slowly. Hopefully Crowell can be a deciding factor in this game because I hand off to him. He picks up three yards. The very next play, picks up two more yards. Now it's third and five. I decide to throw. I throw to the right, and Barnage picks up the first down. Definitely what we needed to get this drive jump started. Okay, very next play. Up the middle, Barnage once again getting to the Titans 50 yard line. We are officially in enemy territory. And Crowell just busted it right up the middle for a 50-yard touchdown. Touchdown, Browns 7-0 in the playoffs. And here is a replay of that. Just beast moding it all the way up the field, up the middle. Nobody touched him. Might as well just give this man a contract extension right now because that was incredible. And look at those dance moves. Dancing with the Stars, calling probably right now. So on to the next drive afterward. Once again, handing off to Crowell. Doesn't pick up the yardage that I wanted, but he picks up two yards. Very next play, throw to the right, and look who it is. Commissioner Gordon, open up the sideline, and there we go, picking up yardage, first down, Browns. Okay, once again, in the Titans territory. Throwing again, just picking up more yards. We're officially at the 42 yard line. Third and one, give it to Crowell, and he is gone once again. The Titans were ranked fifth in rushing defense until we got there, and we are making them look like the 32nd rush defense. Once again, here's a replay of Crowell. Just nobody touches the guy. Just nobody. Just gone. It was unbelievable. Well, he got touched right there in the end zone, which that probably should have been a penalty, but I digress. On to the next possession after another Tennessee punt. Crowell picks up no yards on that play. Very next one. Throw to the right and look at the spin moves. God bless. And an injury timeout for the Titans as we knock out one of their players. I couldn't tell you who. I never find out. So, Crowell up the middle picking up more yards. First down once again at the 45-yard line. I go deep in. Oh, my gosh. Picking up another big chunk of yards right before the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning looms. And there we go, once again, at the 23-yard line, threatening to get in the red zone. And we're officially in the red zone at the 18-yard line. So let's see if we can punch this in one more time before halftime. Throw to the right, and Barnage gets out of bounds with 33 seconds to go. Exactly what I wanted him to do. So with all three timeouts, and I throw, and look at that, Barnage open for a touchdown for the Browns. Me doing my Tim Tebow impression once again. Somebody's got to do it since he's not in the league anymore. So it might as well be me. So there we go. Here's the replay. Barnage getting one, two, four Titans tackling him into the end zone. Just overpowering. And after a Tennessee Titans punt to begin the second half, we are at the three yard line. Luckily, Crowell picks up four yards there. So now we're at the seven yard line. Drop back to throw in my own end zone, and I throw a pick. Unbelievable. I throw a red zone interception. Hopefully, that doesn't come back to haunt us because Tennessee goes right down the field and picks up a touchdown. So, next possession. We're up 21 to 7 still, but I would like to keep the momentum in our favor because that last touchdown for Tennessee was. Totally avoidable, and I completely botched it. So I get sacked by one, two, three Tennessee Titans just now. 
I drive back and I decide to throw a home run ball and nobody is home. Have to punt the ball. The very next possession, however, we are once again at the two yard line. Whoever Tennessee's punter is, is just doing work today in the playoffs. So picking up one yard there, varnish to the right, picking up another chunk of yards. A first down here would be great. And actually we get the first down. How about that? Crowell once again doing work. One more tackle away from probably breaking it for an 80 yard touchdown. Do a fake little pat and I get sacked once again. Tennessee's defense is just relentless today. Very next possession, I get sacked again. Unbelievable, this was a seven yard loss. Just wow. Okay, so now it is under two minutes in the fourth quarter. First down, all we have to do is pick up this first down and I, we win. It is unbelievable. 21 to 14, cutting it a little too close. But Crowell picks up the first down. Now meets Coffin. Oh, but wait, Tennessee has two timeouts left and they decide to use one. So they use their first one and then they use their second one. So getting this next first down is crucial. And oh my gosh, Crowell fumbles and look at that. Tennessee takes it to the house for a touchdown. Cleveland Browns fashion, unbelievable. But actually, it's a very controversial play because it looks like Crowell's knee was down whenever he dropped the ball. So the touchdown doesn't count. So we get the ball back with a minute and 30 seconds left. Picking up the first down here, crucial, just absolutely crucial. But it's fourth and three. We punt it. They can't pick up a first down. So this is something I thought I'd never see also. Cleveland Browns in the victory formation. We win the game. 21 to 14, and that is all she wrote. The Cleveland Browns playoff drought is officially done. Unbelievable. 94 was the last time we were here. 2016 is now the new milestone. So on to next week, we play the Jacksonville Jaguars. Mariota's upset about losing this game. My team, however, is extremely happy for winning this game. Barnage shaking hands with Mariota at the very end. Coaches shaking hands. And off to the stats we scored seven 14 and we didn't score at all in the second half which was almost costly because this game was literally a knee away from going into overtime so here are the highlights commissioner gordon picking up that first down barnage getting that touchdown and it just is looking really great going into next week playing the jacksonville jaguars i just can't believe <laughs> I just can't believe I'm in this position. I really can't. And for some odd reason, they show a highlight of the fumble touchdown that wasn't a fumble touchdown. Doesn't matter. We still win. We beat them in scoring. They beat us in passing yards. But we beat them in rushing and yards per play. They had one takeaway. We had zero as a team. But it doesn't matter. The only stat that counts is the 21-14 victory. So on to Jacksonville next week. Let's dance.